Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about the Cubase Tempo Map and the Time Warp tool and how they work with each other so that you can take songs like this one that are close to being on beat and then get off beat right away or just have a natural speeding up and slowing down from being a human drummer. What I've done is imported this song from the meters and I've estimated the first couple bars to be 85 beats per minute just from trial and error. I've enabled the tempo track. The downbeat is right at a downbeat of a, of a bar. And I'm just going to go ahead and select the time warp tool and take beat four and just drag it over to where beat four should be with the snare. And I'm going to just look at the waveform here and kind of go through and see. It's a very slow song. Um, and there's a lot of space in between each drum hit. So maybe as where another song you could just cut and paste the audio to fix up small rushes or delays by the band. Um, this is just way too, too big of a gap. So what we're doing here, I'm just going to go through the first couple bars and line up these hits. And I'm going to open up the tempo map control T on a, on a PC is a shortcut. Here's the range of BPMs you can choose from. And as I've clicked the graphic interface up here, it's created subtle tempo changes and that speeds up and slows down the speed of the sequencer. See right now it's less than 85. Um, so let's turn on the click and listen to how close I got it. Okay, so the audio is playing back the same as it was recorded. It's just that our tempo is changing as the map scrolls along so that when we add some MIDI data, for example, this kick drum, snare, clap, and another snare, and some hi-hats down here, some of these are audio, some of these are MIDI, and if the audio is locked down, what we should hear is synchronization. <laughs> So that's how you would add audio to Cubase and line it up with the sequencer so that you can add MIDI parts. Um, that's going to take probably 20 minutes or half an hour to go through an entire three minute song and map out the whole thing. Some songs are way easier than others. It just depends. But the good news is you only have to do it once. That's why I started out here, because if I wanted to add an intro later, when you move all your data, the tempo map does not move. So you need to keep that in mind if you want to leave space for an intro or um, something else in the middle. So don't miss out on this awesome tool that's under the hood of Cubase 5 and up, I believe. Hope you guys learned something today.